Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with the Hunter Classic, and we are actually here in Valdebois. We have not been here quite a while. I mean, possibly years, to be honest. Uh, don't come here too often, because this is one of the tougher areas to hunt. Just heard a fox there, guys. Uh, one of the reasons I came here is because the wood grouse that was recently added to the game is also found here. I thought it might be a good place to also hunt for it here since I've already checked it out at Hirschfelden. And and again, I haven't hunted here for a while. I thought that was another good reason. And we might run into some things that we haven't seen or run into for a while. Uh, my understanding is summer camouflage is the best type of camouflage to wear. Now, I don't think it's going to work for me here, but once I get into the forest, I should be well hidden. I'll check my camouflage here in just a little bit just to see what it looks like. But I basically have my uh, 22, and this should take care of the wood grouse just fine. I'm hoping to get a couple of them. Now I went ahead and got some decoys. One of my viewers said that the best thing to do in order to uh, track them is to set up some decoys and you know basically get up in some type of a uh, well actually a woods you know tree stand but I don't have any uh, tree stands left but at least I can get nearby or maybe I can get up on a rock or something I'll, fi I'll find something but and you know, call them in, let them see if they get around those uh, decoys, and should be able to pick them off. Now, I don't know where I'm going to find a place for that, but we'll see. I'm sure there'll be something. There's got to be something. But anyway, it is very early in the morning, 7 in the morning. As you can see, it's a little bit dark. Uh, I've already got my Auschwitz with me. That's in case we run into bear or happen to see a red deer or something like that. And I've got my... Uh, 357 in case we get a little too close to something. I don't know if it's going to take a bear out. Hopefully it will. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll find out soon enough. But we're going to go ahead and get this started. Get everything loaded up here. Contemplating bringing something bigger than this. Since this has got brown bear. Now we do have the Auschwitz, but if we get surprised it could get a little ugly but the reason the main reason I have the 357 is if we do have a chance to shoot a fox that is legal for fox so and that's pretty much the only reason now, I did hear a fox just a little bit ago which is kinda interesting now as we experienced in Hirschfeld, and the wood grouse is found primarily in wooded areas. And I think most of the wooded areas, there's quite a few of them around here, so I don't know that I need to even go over into this area, especially where the brown bear are located. So I should pretty much be able to hang out around here and listen for them for the most part. Possibly try to call them in. Now, I don't know that I'm going to need uh, any sp Well, yeah, I'm probably going to need some spray. Just as an in case. Let me see. I think it's... Is it 8? Yes. Because I still could run into red deer. But I guess we can just walk this way and see if we can't get into the forest and hear something. I need to find, like I said, some kind of a rock... To perch myself up on. I don't. Well, I can come over here and see it. I don't think I have anything as far as tree stands go. 
I mean, I can check equipment here. Probably be under large equipment. No, nope. let's see, I've got that. I've got regular tree stands, but those take at least a day to put up. Yeah, I don't have any available. I, I put them up over in, um, not Hirschfelden, but, uh, Vaud not Vaudenbois. Uh, God. That other Arctic area, I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. Sorry about that, guys. I'm 57 years old. I my mind goes. I'll probably remember it as I'm walking along. But anyway, I put it in the area where the uh, reindeer are found, and I have frequented quite often. Now I know I'm walking, and normally that would scare animals. But like I said, I am after the wood grouse, so I'm trying to see if I can't pick up some tracks, hear them, something before we progress any further. Now, they recently did a uh, hot fix. Apparently there were too many found on the maps in different areas, so they've reduced the numbers. That is kind of true. When I went in my last hunt, I was hearing them every stinking where. It's like you couldn't turn around and not hear one making a noise. They also added some different feather types. Apparently they've added some lighter colors and an albino. And that's true, uh, albino for both the female and the males. Alright guys, I have not heard hiding or hair of that fox. He must have went way, way on. And it's been long enough for if he was going to come, he would have come by now. So, let me take a look at the map here. I'm trying to decide where I might want to check for these guys. Me to make sure that I stay in the forest here, guys. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk over and around to this area here and try to keep in this general vicinity. I'm going to basically, let's see, let me go ahead and draw here. You know, just kind of stay in this general vicinity right here. See if I can't run across some tracks. Haven't seen any yet except for the fox. Alright guys, well, let's get going here. Got to eventually run into something. I heard my first wood grouse. He is in this area. Actually, I'll show you where exactly about I saw it. I heard him. heard him right about there. Now I just got to figure out a place that I can get to. Maybe I can call the sucker in. And I think I just found it. Because out here I'm going to stand up like a sore thumb. Let me show you my camouflage. See it's all gray and it's not glowing? That means I stick out like a sore thumb because my camouflage is for forest. So unfortunately that doesn't help me unless I'm laying prone on a rock or something like that. And that's what I'm going to end up having to do. And what just so happens we have a rock right over here. And maybe, just maybe, we can call this sucker in. I don't know what track this is. If it's another wood grouse or red deer. Let me see here. I can't. Okay, he is 
right over there. So it doesn't matter what that was. What we need to do is we need to place ourselves some decoys. Now let me go ahead and go to my equipment. Let's put this down here. And we'll put one decoy here. We got nine, I think it is. And then we've got a female decoy. Alright, now I'm going to go over to this rock. So I can get a good view here. And I'm going to go prone. And see, anything comes up there, should have no problem shooting it. Now, let's see if we can't call him in. Got our box collar here. Yeah, I kind of have limited time here, guys. Uh, my main goal is to try to get this these fellas called in. I would love to do a little more time, a little more exploration, but don't really have the time tonight to do that. But I thought, well, at least I'll see if I can't use these collars and these decoys to get these guys to come in. Now, I'm not sure if those are enough decoys. There's two of them. I saw something about of three. I don't know if three is like a full spread. If you need three to actually attract them, let me know in the uh, comments below if that's the case. But I only had enough EMS for two. But we'll see. Heard a fox just right over there, and now I'm hearing another wood grouse. Sometimes I think it's just easier to follow their sound. There he is. Got him. <laughs> yep. There we go, guys. He waltzed right out there and showed him, showed his little self. Thought he was all that. <laughs> and I took him out. This time the connection will not go down, hopefully. I'm hearing a lot of activity around here. Yeah, the last time I picked one of these up, I wasn't able to get him into my uh, trophy lodge. I don't know if I'm going to have this problem again. I hope not. That's a nice, that's a nice rooster. Let's see here. It is a male, obviously. Five one nine zero. I don't know that. I th think that was better than the last score I had. I don't remember. I'm gonna taxidermy him just in case. It says it was successful. We'll go ahead and do a trophy shot here. We've got a much better location than we did last time, so I think we'll get a better picture too. The lights better. The whole nine yards. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and turn myself around here. 
put my little weeping up. And there we go. Like I said, I am hearing a lot of strange sounds. This seems to be wood grouse central. One thing is really nice about these particular firearms, it doesn't make a lot of noise. Not much at all. I thought I saw something over there, but it doesn't look like it. What am I... Could I be hearing red deer? Maybe. Let's Let's do this. Sounds a lot like antlers. Well, maybe not. Wait a minute. Okay. It's red deer female. Could be what I'm hearing. I don't know. I doubt it, though. What is that sound? It's definitely an interesting sound here. Let's see. Let me just make another call. There's all kinds of tracks over here, though. Check them out. I don't know if these are wood. Yeah, they're. I think they're all wood grouse. Whole butt tons of them. This this actually could be a good place to leave our decoys, honestly since this seems to be like a feeding area of sorts. See, I could put some right here and then put a... Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that, guys. Let me go ahead and get to my inventory. I'm going to go ahead and go to my equipment. I'm going to put these decoys right here. Alright, now, I don't, yep, it does leave a symbol on there, so I'll know to come here, and at the beginning of it, there's a good spot to, to kind of put myself, and wait, and see if they come. This looks like some kind of a feeding area. for the wood grouse. Yeah, they definitely do like the state of the trees. 
It's the second time I've heard him, and I'm going, I tell you, man, I'm going to do something about it. Let's get up, see if I can get up on this rock. Yep, I can. We're going to crouch and lay prone, and we're going to see if we can't call this fella in. Let's go to equipment, get the jackrabbit, call oh, it's already there. All I have to do is... See if we can't attract his attention. Usually this works really well. I don't remember if they're more skittish here though than some other places, but... But this is the only weapon I have here that's legal for these guys, so... Well, if he would fix the phone thingy. Let me just wait. Oh. Wait a minute. I probably need to descent myself here. Yeah, I know you guys got to hear that. It's like way off in the distance. It sounds like clacking sounds. Okay, he's coming, guys. Haven't seen him yet, but I hear him. There he is. And he's down. How's that? <laughs> Works every time. I think it's the first fox I've taken here. Red fox and he's a gray. Huh. That's cool. A gray red fox. So that's a, that's a new one. Okay, I might put him in my uh, my uh, specialty lodge. Never gotten one of those. Yeah, we'll taxidermy him. I don't have enough EMS. Really? Should. Damn it. That's bullcrap. I do have enough EMS. I know I do. Well, shoot. 17.76. So he's a gray variety. I would love to be able to get. I don't know where they're coming off saying I don't have enough EMS, but... And 
there we go. We'll accept that. No, I don't understand that. I do not know why that's saying that I don't have any enough EMS. That is troublesome. Yeah, I just checked. I have 101 EMS and I have 3,400 of the other. That should be enough. I don't know why it's not working. Hmm. Alright guys, I am back and, well, I basically have run out of time for hunting at the moment. Like I said, I didn't have a whole lot of time to really do a long hunt. Did manage to get a nice wood grouse and I did manage to get a gray red fox, which is interesting. Uh, I'm going to try to figure out if there's any way that I could taxidermy him and I think if I'm able to do that in the next episode I will let you guys see him. Otherwise, I guess I'm just not going to get him. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and jump off of here and see if we can't go ahead and if we're able to put the wood grouse in here yet or not. Last time I couldn't get it to come up. I hope I can because that would really be nice. And I'd probably like to put him in the hawk's nest since this is one of my well, one of my first lodges, and I have a lot of places to put birds. So, if it's available, I'm going to put him in. If not, I guess, I guess I'm not going to get to see him, which is really going to aggravate me. Well, let's see. F for help, and I'd open the manager. All right. Let's see. We need. Okay, the small round platforms, and let's see, wood grouse? Nope, willow ptarmigan. I don't think I, I don't think you can still see them. These are ptarmigan. Let's see, medium platform? Nope, that's the bigger animals. Bird plaque. Willow ptarmigan. <sighs> well, I'm telling you guys, you can't put the damn wood, wood grouse up. That is really, really infuriating because I paid to do that. <sighs> Shoot. Well, there's n I don't think there's much I can do about it. Small plaque. Small round platform. I've got a duck. I've got. I've only got a willow ptarmigan. I've already got a display of the willow ptarmigan. This one's score is what? Six. See, I can put this one here. But I don't want two ptarmigan up, that's for sure. I don't know. I don't know why I can't... Am I in the wrong kind of lodge? Let's see here. Let's go to the rare and events. To the manager. Small plaque. Small round platform, willow ptarmigan. Medium platform, bird plaque. Willow ptarmigan. Yeah, still can't put them up. That's really, really, I mean, I paid for that. And I can't put them up. That really, really ticks me off, honest to God. There's some weird glitchy things going on here that's starting to aggravate me, guys. Well, hopefully they'll get them fixed soon, because if not, I'm going to start getting more complainy. 
But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be back with another episode of the Hunter Classic. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.